Howdy y'all, Giovanni here. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what the social media marketing triangle is and why you will fail at social media if you don't adhere to it. So today we're talking about time, quality, and cost. And you get to have two of those. The project management triangle, as it's sometimes known, is a valuable tool for prioritizing and decision making. It's often used as a throwaway tool in training courses, but it's a powerful tool in the hands of a competent leader or marketing professional. You get to pick two of those, but you can't have all three. Most people that have been in a business or a project management course at some time have heard of the project management triangle. It's sometimes known alternatively as the triple constraint or the iron triangle. Today, we're going to apply it to social media marketing and rename it the social media marketing triangle so I can have a nice clickbaity title. Just to add some confusion, there are also variants on this model, but we're going to be chatting about time, quality, and cost. The basic premise is this. There are three main factors in all decisions, and you can only have two of them. Let's explore the triple constraint, shall we? You can build a marketing campaign that is fast and cheap, but it probably won't be very good quality. Or you could build a marketing campaign that is cheap and of great quality, but it's not going to be fast. Or you can build a marketing campaign that is executed quickly and is of high quality, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. When defining a project or series of work tasks, there are boundaries and values that we need to work within. For me, at the beginning of any major project, I need to understand what the key priorities are. Given a situation, what does the stakeholder or the project champion value the most? Is it time, quality, or cost? Problems are going to occur. Compromises will need to be made. And under these situations, what comes first? Is it time, quality, or cost? What comes last? Say it with me. Time, quality, or cost. And it's never allowed to be it depends or a smirky little yes. And for the record, if the person leading the project tries to claim that all three are possible, well, they're a terrible person. For a given project, deliverable, or campaign strategy, there must always be a first priority and a last priority set. Without this, confusion, indecision, and ultimately failure will rule the day. Of course, the person paying the bill will want all three, but they can't have those. A confident project manager knows this and helps the stakeholder to understand that you can have two, but not three. This really manifests itself when it comes to problems and big barriers in the development of your campaign. Things go wrong. The plan gets delayed, things need to be done, people need to sleep, life happens. So team members need to understand before things go wrong what your priority really is. Any campaign where the price or cost is fixed before the campaigning starts is a disaster in the making. No matter how well you plan, things are going to change. When costs are fixed before the scoping goals are determined, you're left with one of two outcomes. The campaign timing will be affected or the messaging, creative, or other elements will not be of the quality that you want. In these situations, low quality could mean less engagement, less reach, and lower sales. When the problems occur before a campaign scope is even determined, there is always a cost or penalty involved. In this scenario, that cost could be a new time constraint, spending money which wasn't in your budget, or the quality of the messaging creative or the results of the campaign are just not going to live up to what your expectations were. Time is the factor of speed. When something needs to be done by a certain date, we can always make things faster by throwing more resources at the problem. But that costs money. Equally, we can do it for the given time at the given cost, but then the quality slips. Money and resources are the bedrock of all business decisions, and everything costs something. Sometimes we have extra budget to spend, other times we don't. Sometimes we have more resources, sometimes we don't. Quality is often difficult to measure. What's good quality? What's poor quality? Often quality is in the eye of the beholder. The bottom line for me regarding quality is fitness for purpose. For example, is a cheap cup of coffee quality? Well, if our need is to get a quick buzz to help get us through the afternoon lulls, then a terrible caffeine-fueled cup of gel in a styrofoam cup will probably do the trick. But if our goal is to impress our flannel-wearing hipster friends with aroma and sourcing and body and acidity and texture and creaminess and other characteristics which make up an amazing coffee experience, well, then we need a much higher level of specification to meet the definition. Quality could be said to be a distinctive attribute or a characteristic possessed by something. If that attribute is missing, well, then we tend to say that the quality is lacking. In marketing, especially in creative fields, quality is extremely subjective and must be trusted to a brand advocate on the team who will push for business decisions to always be made with the protection of the brand image, culture, and other characteristics in mind. 
I have a belief that when you find yourself saying no more often than you're saying yes to decisions around marketing, advertising, and branding, well, you're probably on the correct path to doing it right. All of these factors contribute to the scope of a campaign, the boundaries of your overall digital strategy, and the stated goals or outcomes. Time, quality, and cost. What they don't tell you is that you can have any two, not three, two. So this model is taught in many courses. Its name sometimes changes, the dimensions on the triangle sometimes vary, but all the documentation and literature that I've seen all neglect to say that the keys to making this work is discipline, focus, and consistency. Once a priority order for a project has been set, you cannot pick and choose which two you apply as priority throughout the project process. The methodology works best when used as a set of underlying principles behind a campaign as a whole. The Social Media Marketing Triangle or Triple Constraint Tool is a useful framework for all marketers and business leaders to use as part of the planning when it comes to campaign strategy and problem solving. With everyone involved knowing the constraints and priorities before the problems happen, it can make problem solving faster and more aligned with the needs of the organization. And one last thing, if you think you can ignore this and barrel ahead with what you've been doing in the past, well, guess what? Two will get chosen for you by the very nature of the process. You're better off being in the driver's seat. How many do you get to pick? You get to pick two. Okay, now I've got a quick favor to ask. I started my first channel on YouTube in 2007. This past December, I deleted that account. Well, I want, I want to test the tactics and techniques that I use for clients on myself. You see, each year for several years now, I delete my followers on Twitter in December and I start over. I've been doing this because it forces me to stay relevant by having to rebuild my account every year. This year, I decided to add YouTube to the mix. So I deleted the previous YouTube account that I had for 12 years and I'm starting over from zero. So I have a favor to ask. Please head over and subscribe to my YouTube channel and mention my channel to your nerdy marketing friends on MySpace and on your CompuServe listservs. Thanks again. I hope you learned a thing or two in this video and that you'll come back and visit me again.